Hello human beings, I am Crazy Diana. Welcome back to The Walking Dead episode... Uh, uh, Welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1 Episode 4. Um, so we are going somewhere. Can't open it without the combination. Uh, well, can't you just try it open? Kick it? I don't know. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. What? Why are you not going in? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Fair enough. I just crawled the building, pulled out a battery and all that shit. Uh, while you were looking at the door, must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Yes, I am the supreme leader of this council. Take the axe, put it in the door. God damn it. Damn well better. There's so many of them. It's a glass door? Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Yep, I guess. So, um... You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Yeah. I have no idea where she's going. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So, you're a cancer survivor. How long have you known Vernon? What about, about Crawford? Oh, yeah. So, you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope. All this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Yeah. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. About what do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. Fair enough. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I have the battery. <laughs> like she's just sitting at the school table. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Yeah, don't we all? It's not weird at all. So do I. 
But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? Uh, she had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. Yeah. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Yes. No one Do can be her. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? In a couple of years, yes. Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah, I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. So I'm guessing that... Just a bunch of paste. There must be a key somewhere. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Tablets. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. That's a radio, Lee. Uh, initials of... Uh, why is my game broken? Oh. Initials of person conducting search. TMR. Number of ineligible citizens found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford and number of walks found. Ooh, okay. Distance outbreak. Um. Oh, okay. So, dolls. Creepy. Yeah. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Yup. No power, no TV. So how's the door coming? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She I saved your life, didn't she? I didn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Got a battery? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Okay. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Are you fucking nuts? Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. Yep. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Even though I don't Look, like him? we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? Even though I, I don't like you. him, I I'm am... gonna get back to this. I don't want there to be a mass hysteria right now. We don't need that. American flags and all that. Okay, so let me go out and help with the medicine. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Yeah. I was hoping if I could find a picture of um, of Molly. Now. 
shit. Oh, fuck. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. No, don't use the gun for fuck's sake. I can't shoot everyone. everyone. That was a bad idea. Well, well apparently, apparently I'm a master shooter, so I can. <laughs> Bang, ba bang, bang, ba bang, bang. Relax. What the it's hell happened? Off the shooter. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. A key code. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we bust it open? Uh... There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. Yeah. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Yeah, because uh, the combination lock is like... Just a bunch of papers. Lot. No safe combination, though. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? It's a tape. Phones probably haven't worked in months. No, 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 fuck. Go in again. Copier. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Okay, but where in the world can a combination lock be? Don't talk to Vernon. Blood son sonogram? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. So, the oh, there is a... No tape inside. Oh, I have tape. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Is that Why money? are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them oh. it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I could seal evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do What's this. What's the code? I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. God damn it. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Yeah. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. 
He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. Wow, really? Oh, God damn it. So I have to walk all the way over to the... to the doctor. Really? God damn it. Why was there a lot of sounds of zombies? And how are you going to get back? Can Wow. Oh. All those scared fucking fuck me. Radio head. Or TV head, I don't know. Doctor Man. Come back here. Do you have the combination lock on you? This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Six. Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Yeah, that's the combination lock for a... Uh... Shit, time to go. Sorry guys. Alright, so the combination lock is for what this Logan. This must have been his locker. Ready? Tape. Safe combination has gotta be on one of these. What if the safe combination is actually the numbers on the tape? I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Yes. Let's watch a movie and get some popcorn. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Yeah. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. No. 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 Fuck. I think about we know what thing. happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Uh, Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. How's that hard Let's to watch? Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. And that was okay, not the company. Okay, I think we're good. Not. 
This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I will watch the la the, the third tape. Definitely. I want to know who Logan is. Oh. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, hmm. that's the Crawford way, isn't it? I never guess Molly is there right well, now. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go back to the classroom and see if Molly is going to be there. No, Jesus Molly. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll Molly, take that battery uh, down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. But I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. I know you're from Crawford. You can quit with the Ag Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? Yeah. I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Mm. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their <clears throat> system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Well, you are forgiven, I guess? This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. Yeah, I just wanted just... it, okay? I'm sorry for what happened to your sister. But right now, I just want to get the job done and get back to the house. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Something is happening. They are breaking up the door. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jeff! 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 motherfucker! I spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? Again? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Uh... <gasps> Shit!
You are a little freak. Ninja. Lee, shoot this fucker! It's a little hard to shoot him when you're not standing still. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Fine. Go ahead. Tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck. Okay. Can you come down? It was a mistake. Kick his ass. Kick any man. I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead. You hear me? Dead? My wife and child? You gotta both fucking kill. Kenny, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later. But right now we gotta go. Come on, come down. Nice group you got here. Yeah, it's not the group. time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. Nope. We're all in this together. Yep. We're a group. Sure! Take a vote! This is America! Fuck it! But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Uh, of course you do. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. Yeah. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? Mother... Fuck! Nope, you don't get a thing now. Now can we go? Damn right! Vernon, come on! God damn it. All those fucking skip jumps. Yeah, we really cracked the door. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Yep. Run. No? Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! So we're going up to the top. Lee, look! Oh, shooting. Or not. Use the SK to back up to get away. I like that he's just. A perfect marksman? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. So 
Make your leg to free it, look up to fight walkers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's amazing how many bullets there is in there. Come on! And that's a bad thing. It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Um, guys, sorry if you have a double voice of my voice. Um, I accidentally on, turned on the microphone. On here. Let him be. Why do you let him be? Do I actually you. have to? Climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's he doesn't want time. to. You have to go now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! Yeah, you're thinking the same as me. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, bye. Oops. <laughs> Wait, he didn't die. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. And Rest Omid is dead too. Everything okay? Omid! That. Krista, Clementine, stay back. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -hmm. uh. Hey. Back already? What? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He Dead. didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Not exactly. Ready? Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. You I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on it. Let me know if you need anything. 
Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Uh, I'm sorry about Bree. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have uh -huh. had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her, and if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? Just another one of your lies. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Or oh, what? Hmm. Okay, so there is a lot of cutscenes in this episode. Hey, episode four. Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Uh, you should come with us. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You Fair sure enough. about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Yep. Listen, Same here. I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Maybe we will meet up again later. Who knows? And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Okay, move on. It's a little stretched in this episode, I would say. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. Yeah. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. Uh, someplace else. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? He didn't want me to save him. He was in danger. Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. A bit? You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. 
My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. correct. Before we meet correct tomorrow, on that one. will we have time to look for my parents? We can try. Uh, that may I'd not like be time. Clear, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Reach out. No. <laughs> Why not just hug her or something? <sighs> Clementine. I guess can he make the build work? Clementine? All them scenes where I can't move, they are a little bit annoying actually. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Uh, okay, now I can move. Clementine's hat. So, where have they gone? Are they going to the water? Or. What the. F the radio? Uh, pick up the radio. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, fucking fuck hell in my ass. Oh. I hate those. <laughs> Fuck me. I flew the mouse. Oh. <sighs> no. No. It's a dream. No. 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 <sighs> Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Not a dream. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't uh, safe. Sure Lee? Bye. Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Holy Wherever she fucking is, shit. I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Uh, I don't know what to do. I need help to find her. Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine, and in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting uh, yeah. for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Can we move? You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. 
Thank okay, you. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? And cutscene? I don't know. <clears throat> Let me guess, they are gone. All of them. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Yeah. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Gonna move now? No. Okay, so... I can't figure out if this is a dream or something. going uh. Clementine are, are you all right where are you Vernon you son of a bitch uh, why have you taken her where have you taken her Episode 5? Is that an episode 5? Well, fuck. The boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? What? Oh, yeah, you and 25% of players did not kill him. Uh, did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 33% of players threatened or lied to him. Mm -hmm. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? 73% of players did. And me. Uh, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 33% of players let him go. And did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 8% of the players showed the bite. Well, thank you. Who came with you? What? Oh, I could actually have saved him. Okay. Well, that's the new thing. Isn't there going to be a next episode? Blah 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 blah. No, there was actually not a episode thingy thingy. Okay, well guys, I hope you liked this video. And I hope you will watch other videos on my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I will have the links in video description down below. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!